Hi, I'm Kenneth Weidsta. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photography talks. So today I want to talk about going on a road trip. So back in October, I had a photo shoot out in Philadelphia that I wanted to bring a photo studio for, and I created an adventure by taking a car full of gear and driving out. And I went through St. Louis, and I went to Kansas City, Missouri, and I went to, where else did I go? I went through Lexington, Kentucky, and then into Philadelphia. But I have this thing where I can't help but take photographs. And sometimes when the light is right and when things are going, and you're on a straightaway, I use the camera in the car. And I've talked about photographing out of the car before, and I know it's something that I definitely am drawn to. But certainly you have to be super careful, and I always am. But I was driving along, and I'm not a nature guy. But I wanted to do some fall foliage. And the fall foliage was incredible, because in Colorado, we only have yellow. We don't get reds and green maples and reds and orange yellows. We just get the yellow aspens, which is great, but it's not diverse like the deciduous trees of the East Coast, where I grew up. So I'm driving along, probably somewhere between Virginia and Philadelphia, and I see this incredible foliage right by the side of the road. And I think I'd like to photograph it, but I don't really want to stop. And I also don't want to just have a shot with the road. So I put the camera onto like F22 and I put the ISO way down and I set it up so it would be like a one second or a half a second or two second exposure, something slow. And then I would go along and if I saw a great bunch of trees with a lot of red or some kind of, of a feature where something was maybe set against something else, like a red against a, a darker area or a yellow against a red. I would drive along and often out the right window of my car, I would take the, car, the, the, the camera and I would just go like this. Let's see if I can put this like that. I would just come like that, that this by, through the window. So I'm at the one end of the window to the other end of the window. And I'm doing this thing called, I'm calling it swish panning, which I don't even know if it is, because the car is in motion, but so is the camera. And they're both in motion in different directions, in a sense. And my goal is I want to get something sharp in my blurred motion photo. So it wouldn't work if the whole thing was just blurry. Something has to be anchored. Something has to define it so we can see where we are. And you certainly... From my point of view, you don't get 100% keepers. There's a lot of experimentation. So I'm just driving along, doing this, shooting some pictures. And most of my trip, when I saw something that struck me, the light was nice, the colors were bold, I would do it. And I got back and I ended up pulling about three or four frames from that. So from all of those shoots, again, I'm not a nature guy, but... I can recognize that there's something special here. And so I put together three or four photographs and put them out and people were going all excited for them. They really liked them. And I liked them too. But it's the kind of thing where it's very experimental. I don't know what it's called because it is panning, but it's panning while you're in motion. So what exactly is that? And it's not panning this way. It's kind of, you know, tracking along the length of the window. So it was an interesting way to shoot some photographs. And I don't know if anybody's ever done anything like that. I don't know if anybody has, if you've had any experience with that. I'm going to put a link to some of the photos below so you can see them. And I'd be curious to see what you think. I was actually quite happy with them. I think they would be fun to get printed and blown up and hung in a, in a frame. And I could see them going into a gallery and being strong sellers. And it's like, no, I don't want to be known for nature. I want to be known for my street work, my people work, my documentary work. But there's something to these photos that are kind of special. So I'll put a link to the photos below. Click that to know what I'm talking about. And then hopefully I described the technique enough. Maybe you can try it. But be careful if you're driving. It's best if you get somebody else to drive while you do it. But it's a fascinating look. Some of the things that come out are pretty cool. All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. 
If you can support, hit the Patreon, and thanks so much for watching. As always, here's a good light.